So this terrarium needs some work. The snake doesn't have a hot side hide and I like my decorations. So today I'm gonna be deep cleaning this thing and adding some stuff to it. But before we do anything else, he's gotta go in this Tupperware. I would like to quickly mention that the materials used for this are just paper towels, grocery bags, and wipeout, which is the cleaning solution I use. You can find it at any pet store, basically. And of course, the stuff I'm adding, which we'll look at later. But for now, I'm going to spray the wipeout on all of the old stuff that was already in there, let it sit for five minutes, and then flip it. So next up, we're just gonna take all of the bedding out. It has been five minutes, so I'm just gonna lightly dry off whatever's left. And we're gonna just flip them over, spray them again, same thing. I'm routinely just gonna open this up and check on him because he is literally an escape artist. Hey buddy. All right, another five minutes has gone by, so we're gonna dry this up. <clears throat> so we got this piece of wood, two rocks, and then the new stuff, which is this hide right here. I think I'm gonna bury this a little bit. It'll look nice covered in some substrate. And then just a bunch of small pieces of cork bark. Oh, that made a mess. So yeah, same thing, spray this stuff down, and wait five minutes. So the next step is gonna be to clean up the glass with the same wipeout. If you guys could leave a like on the video, that would be greatly appreciated, as well as comment down below what you think of these time lapses. Should I keep doing them or should I cut this stuff out? Time to wipe and flip these. Check number two. Still in there, but now I gotta... Nope, come down, buddy. Here we go. When he escaped, he was in my brother's room. And I woke up and he was literally like right here. Like my backpack was on the ground and he was just chilling behind it on the ground right here. Forgot to put it earlier on, but we're gonna throw it in now. 
Here's our substrate. We're gonna go about one part cypress mulch to two parts reptis oil. I usually do it the other way around, but I have so much of this stuff right now and I don't think the difference is worth going to the store. So more dirt, less the bark than I usually do. I'm also only gonna do a little bit for now because there's some big stuff I would like to partially bury. So we're gonna do a little bedding, put the stuff in and then more so they're kind of sunken in a little bit. Here it is. Um, how do I want to like that maybe? I also want this to fit on this side. So I already know this goes here. Then I guess we'll decide from here. Here's our turn. Okay. Let me do that a little bit. Throw some on top. Now does the water bowl fit on this? Um we'll put this on the other side. And we'll put the small water bowl right there. So that should fit, right? That's like perfect. Okay. And corn snakes actually, they roam the edges of the enclosure. So you need water bowls touching like the edge or else they won't miss the, they're there. If I put this right in the middle, then they probably won't use it. So I think, um, this thing's huge, it's tough. Put it right here. But like I said, it's so thick, so I want it buried partially. So now it's at an angle a bit. After lots of very minor adjustments, this is what we have. And I would also like to get some substrate on this thing. It's probably all gonna come off because the snake's gonna hide under one of these and I'm gonna have to pick it up. But for half a day, it looks cool. I think he should be able to fit in this one just fine. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. It's definitely an upgrade from before, already. We got the water bowl, that's gonna go right there. Um, little log, put that right over the top. That should be. Oh, we have to angle it so he can climb on it. That's good. Okay. Alligator skull. I moved this one around like eight times before I decided where to put it. So uh, you guys don't need to see all that. Do something eh, more buried. 
like that. And put all the bedding back. That's cool. All right, cork bark. Don't know where to put these yet. Um, like that. There we go. Um. Stick that one here. Actually, I don't even know if we need to use all four of these. That looks pretty awesome already. Yeah, I don't want to overdo it. Like, I want some substrate. I don't want to cover the entire bottom with these. Maybe we'll do one more right here. Like that. I got this plant. Let's put that right here, right on top of the rock. So I guess there's no point in that rock being there, but oh well. <laughs> hmm. What's next? Oh, I need leaves. I'm going to go find those. I don't know where I put them. I actually, one of my plants died from one of the bioactives. And I just kept all the leaves because they became dried up and crunchy. So instead of throwing away the dead plant, I can use it for bioactives. Or just a nice touch. So we're just going to find some places to chuck down some dead leaves. I don't know if I really need the palm tree stuff in here. It's pretty big. I already got some bark. So we'll save most of this. But some little leaves wouldn't hurt. And I also... I don't know. It's tempting. I think I might do this thing bioactive. In two weeks, I might just pull a few things out and throw plants in. Because, like, the substrates are already pretty good. Maybe some extra dead plant matter. And obviously I need to add isopods and springtails, but yeah. A little bit of moss. I miss a little bit in my hand. Pull it apart and put it some places. Put some in the eyeball right there. That's not enough. I mean, I was fine with just kind of like the different browns and stuff because they come from fields and like temperate forests. So they're not, they're definitely not a tropical snake, but a slight touch of green looks good. Oh, I got the terrarium. Oh, well. Right there. Okay, so that's gonna be the finished product because just because I could spend all day doing this does not mean I should. So I'm gonna put some water in the water bowls. And we're gonna put Alfredo in his new and improved home.
enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, as well as comment down below if there's anything I should have added to this build.